ladies and gentlemen, it is the first episode of the new year. First episode of season two. Welcome back to the What Are We Doing podcast. Of course, I'm here. I'm alone by myself, like always. And to start this episode off right, we have a public service announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, you heard it here first. Here we go. Hi, everybody. This is Omarion. I am an artist, not a variant. So please be aware if you just so happen to run into me on the street, you don't have to isolate for five days, nor do you have to have a negative test result in order to dance to my music. (laughs) So please be safe, be healthy. Happy New Year. Just in case you didn't know, that man is Omarion and he's a rapper, okay? Not a COVID-19 variant. Okay, don't get it twisted. That's Omarion. Listen, I saw this thing on TikTok the other day that said how to light a three wick candle. And it was like, if you just light the one wick and then turn the candle and let that lit wick light the other one and then the other one, that's how you light it. And you don't have to burn your fingers on the second or third wick. I've tried it three fucking times already and it doesn't work. If anyone can light a candle by only lighting one wick, let me know. Okay, and come on this podcast and do it because uh, I need to see it happen for myself in person. Dude, it's 2022, new year, new me, okay? Speaking of new year, new me, go check out episode 41 of the 280 Plus podcast if you haven't listened already. Oh man, dude, it's a new year, new me. I'm finally, dude, finally, finally at 21 years old. Okay. I know I'm probably the youngest guy, you know, all right. It's fine. It's fine. At 21, I'm finally insured. Daddy got health insurance. It's 2022 baby. Okay. Um, and now I probably haven't had health insurance in three to five years. Okay. Why? Why? Why don't you have health insurance? It's expensive. Okay. It's expensive. Uh, every quote I got was like 700 a month. Okay. 500, 600, 700 a month. It is still too much money. Okay. My rent at the time was $700 a month, not even $700 a month. That's ridiculous. And then, you know, some insurances, some that I've had before. Hey, if this is you, change it. Hey, if this is you, if what I'm about to say is you, change it. Some insurances, this is how they work, let me tell you. You pay them every month, okay? So your monthly premium comes out of your, you know, automatically out of your a direct deposit or you pay them directly an automatic payment or you send them a check or in the mail every month. You pay the health insurance company And then guess what happens when you get to the doctor's office? Some doctors make you pay again. Okay? They make you pay again, dude. Now, that to me doesn't make any goddamn sense, okay? No sense at all. If I'm paying for insurance, why am I paying for the doctor's office visit? Fake news, scam in America. Uh, I was getting Lumi's nails done at the um, place down the street for dogs, and some lady popped in while I was checking out was like, Hey, I do health insurance for small business. And it's only like, it's like $300 a month. And so that's what I'm paying, dude. It's half of what everything else quoted me. So I'm fine. It's 2022. I got to go to the doctor. I haven't been to the doctors in years. Okay. It's $300 a month. Nonetheless, still a chunk of fucking money, but I'm insured. So now I have to find doctors and shit, right? So like that's the next step. And I already know this is going to be like a three to six month process. It took Meg's literally six months. When we moved here to Mechanicsburg and then she was still going to York 
for all of her appointments while I was like, hey, man, we're having a baby soon. You can't be doing that all the time. You got to get some stuff here in Mechanicsburg. It took it took Meg six months to find the doctor she has. And guess what? They're all in Hershey. They're still not where we live. Like, it, it's impossible. Wait list because of COVID now. Wait list six to 12 months for like the average doctor's office. If you're a new patient trying to get in six to 12 month wait list, I'm sorry. I guess I'll just die from the disease I have or, you know, the issue I'm trying to solve. <laughs> and like, how do I find a doctor, dude? They're not even called doctors. Like, do I just search for doctors near me? I think that's what I have to do. Like the last time I went into a doctor's office, true story, family doctors, last time I went in, the side of the building said internist of central PA. If you know, you know. What the fuck is an internist? Internet? I thought it said internet. I thought it's where you went to get internet in central PA. I walked in there looking for fucking 300 megs down and 300 megs up. I wanted the fiber connection. And they said, no, sir. The only fiber we have is in your colon. So like, you know what I mean? I don't know where to go. And like, even when I get there, okay, even when I get to the doctors, daddy's got so many fucking problems. We've got so many problems to take care of and best fucking better believe you. I'm using the insurance to its fully capable maximum amount that I can possibly use without having to pay any more money out of my pocket. Like there's a laundry list of issues that need to be worked out in 2022 for me. Like I'm talking mole removal, dental work, spine realignment, knee surgery. I need a hip replacement. I have erectile dysfunction medication, ADHD medication, anxiety, trichophilioma, mesophilioma. Look them up. They're real things. Diabetes one and two. Pretty sure the only human to have one and two. Amnesia, tuberculosis. The third toe on my left foot could be removed. And I have a fucking bump on my neck that smells every time I touch it. Like, Hey, new year, new me. I'm ready. Dude, every, every now and then I wonder about, uh, I wonder about Nicki Minaj's cousin's friend. Like, do you think his balls, like, do you think the swelling went away? And like, do you think he's still with the girl that he was with? That I think he was getting married. I think their relationship was rocky due to his swollen testicles. And I think COVID-19 in some way. I think about him a lot. I really do. I really do. I really do. So Christmas this year was fun. We haven't talked about Christmas on this uh, podcast yet. Christmas was good. Look, it was just Megs and I. Um, Ollie's too and doesn't understand it. So we got him a bunch of stuff. And that's pretty much it. Um, and so like at the age of 24, you never really 24 years old, you never really need anything for Christmas, right? Like, you know what I mean? What do you want? What do you gift cards, money? And then like, you always get the oversized off brand long sleeve t-shirt from your grandma that she always gets from Sears, dude. It's always from a department store and it's always the wrong size and it's always something you're never going to wear. I can't tell you how many long sleeve t-shirt sweatshirt things have hung in my closet that I've received from grandparents from the age of 10 to 19 years old. It's ridiculous, right? And like, side note, side note, side note, uh, you know, Sears and Macy's and like these other department stores, fucking JC Penney's, dude. One are all still open, still open uh, in Pennsylvania in the year 2022. Still open. Macy's, JC Penney's, Sears. They sell zero electronics. Well, maybe some electronics. They sell whatever. They sell like everything, but it's just no one goes who goes to jc penny's when's the last time you've been in jc penny's dude you know what i mean 
And so, okay, one, they're still open, and two, did you know Macy's makes a billion fucking dollars every year? Macy's makes billions with a B dollars every single year. It's insane. Like last year, they made more than they've ever made before. Oh, yeah. Macy's is a fucking establishment, dude. It's insane. I'll never go there. I think Meg's got something from there last year one time. But other than that, it's insane. So anyways, nobody knows what to get. You know what I mean? Like Meg's and I, we tell each other we're going to write list or whatever every year. And sometimes I do because my things are specific and hers or whatever. So this year, Meg's got me a bunch of um, like posters and canvases for the studio. There's a couple over there. Uh, there's a couple over there, right? Um, and one of a lot of them were like movie related. So she was like, "What's your top five movies?" And then got me like some, not like the actual movie poster, but like one of them is a bunch of quotes from the movie. One of them is the Count of Monte Cristo, and it's a a, a movie palette. And so they take a scene from every movie and put a sliver of that scene in the thing. I'll put a picture of it up on the screen. Um, so those are cool. Go to Mo Google movie palette. You can get yourself one. Those are neat. Anyways. So she got me a bunch of stuff. And one of the things that I wanted to talk about it on this podcast is the Wolf of Wall Street. And she got me this poster. First of all, love the movie. Leo. Yes. Margot Robbie. Yes. Is she naked in the movie? Yes. Is she my type? A mm, little bit. Is she Margot Robbie? Yes, she is. Wolf of Wall Street, Eight Rules of Success. I want to read them, comment on some of them, and go through them. Some of them are funny. Here we go. Rule number one, Eight Rules of Success. Hard work beats talent every time. I believe it, right? You can be the best singer on American Idol, but if you win American Idol and don't immediately go to the studio to make an album or two or three and then 12,000 YouTube videos for the next year and a half, you're done. Like, that's it. You have to work hard. That makes sense. I like it so far. Rule number two, work until your bank account looks like a phone number. That's what I'm talking about. What's a phone number? How many seven digits in a phone number? So a million, a milli, a million. My goal is to have a million dollars by 2025. In three years, in three years, I want to have a million dollars. Whether that's in assets or cash on hand or a briefcase or gold buried in the backyard, you'll never know. By 2025, someone in my circle or me or Justin or whoever will have a million dollars. I'm almost there. Uh, 97% of people who quit too soon are employed by the 3% who never gave up. That makes so much sense. Um, perfect example. Uh, I graduated college in 2013, worked for a handful of companies since then. In 2016, 2017, I worked for the last, the last company I'll ever work for, uh, personally. And now I own said business. So, you know, uh, number four, you can watch me, mock me, try to block me, but you cannot stop me. Right. You, right. You know what I mean? Some of these are self-explanatory. I guess I don't have to comment too much on them. I've been a rich man and a poor man and I choose rich every time. That one's subjective. I don't like that one. Number six, I want you to deal with your problems by becoming rich. She said that in the movie, I believe. Okay, that one's fine. What's interesting about these is like, and this has always been my philosophy, people say that like money doesn't buy happiness. But do you know what makes me happy? Is a pair of jet skis for me and my friends to ride around on whenever we want on my private lake right up from my lake house, which isn't the house I normally live in. We're only there three weeks out of the year. And do you know how you get all those things with money? It's fine, but that's okay. Money doesn't buy happiness. Yeah. 
Let's see. If they say it's impossible, remember that it's impossible for them and not for you. Dude, I can't tell you how real that is with building this wedding venue right now. It is 99% of people are telling me how impossible it is to get a loan, start a business, buy the land, get it certified, do this, do that. You can't do this. It's 2022. It's COVID. We're afraid of shutdowns. We're afraid of Omicron, not Omarion. But we're afraid. And rule number eight, last but not least, I will succeed and nothing in this world is going to stop me. And that is your daily motivation, right? Your affirmation for the day. Megs has this affirmation app now. And uh, it's pretty good. There's some there's some ones on there that are wishy-washy, but it's pretty good. Get yourself an affirmation app. Uh, it'll help in 2022. Um, to kind of wrap up this episode, dude, it's uh, we couldn't have ended the year last year, 2021, in any worse way. Uh, Betty White is no longer with us. Dude, National Treasure uh shots drinks toast to betty white um i mean it's insane uh betty white um was born on january 17th 1922 just 17ish 17 18ish 17, days away from her 100th birthday okay i have uh, a video on the screen. This is Betty White's uh, IMDB page. This is all the shit right here, all the stuff that's currently scrolling. This took me three and a half minutes to scroll through. This will be on the screen for the next three minutes. Betty White did so much shit in 99 years. This is why you can't contest her. She's the greatest of all time. She's number one. Okay. Betty White was on the WWE. Here's a picture of her with no one else. I'm not sure what kind of promo this was, but it was just a picture of Betty White for the WWE. Um, and like, you know what I mean? She was involved with, she did shows. She was a producer. She did the game show. She did the Golden Girls. She did the movie The uh, Proposal with Sandra Bullock and Ryan Reynolds, which was like hands down one of the best. We watched it all the time. That clip with her and uh, Ryan Reynolds, by the way, if you Google Google or YouTube. Betty, I don't. I mean, I play an assistant in the movie, and I'm an actor in real life. And you should you should. You know when that. Betty White says she wants a cup of coffee, you get her a, a cup of coffee. You uh, Betty White and Ryan Reynolds, she's like treating him as like her assistant or coffee boy or whatever because she's Betty White. It's hilarious. It's hilarious. She was perfect. I think the thing is still scrolling. There's so much more shit that Betty White has done. And dude, you know what else? Betty White is like the first person that millennials can like relate to on how long or how short, however you want to look at it, some people might look at it differently, uh, how how short like 100 years actually is, right? Let me explain. Let me break down what Betty White saw in her lifetime, okay? This is tr true facts. You can look any of this up. From 1920 to now, here's what she saw. The first traffic signal. Betty White saw the first traffic signal installed. That's when they came out with them, right? The Band-Aid. The Band-Aid was invented in 1921. Before you get a cut on your finger, you got to wrap it up with a towel. That towel might be dirty. The towel might be clean. You might not have a towel. You might only have a shirt. You might have to wipe it on something. You might just have to let it go. There's nothing to stop your cut. But now, 1921 rolls around. Betty White's fresh out of diapers. She's crawling probably now, 12 months old. The Band-Aid is invented. Some other things. Uh, the electric blender, television, and vacuum cleaner were all invented in her lifetime, right? Before, they just had like the bristle 
the uh, the like a not a mop, a, a broom, a brush, a broom, you know, for the floor. They broom up all the dust, put it in a little pan. Sometimes they even have a pan. Now I've got a vacuum downstairs. Shout out to Ashley uh, with a fucking in a box that just does its own thing, sucks up all the dirt by itself. I don't do anything with it. I don't touch it. It goes on a timer and then docks itself. Okay. So, (laughs) um, Hey dude. Hey, the cheeseburger. Okay. Betty White was speaking her first words at two years old when the cheeseburger was invented. Okay? Here's a list. Here's more things. Here's a list. Bulldozers, cotton swabs, masking tape, the drive-thru, like in general. How many times do we go? We go to a drive-thru once a day. Meg's just at a drive-thru 35 minutes ago. (laughs) Okay? Bulldozers, cotton swabs, drive through gas chambers a little dark okay that's fine that's fine gas chambers that's okay pop-up toasters ice cube trays bubble gum okay frozen food betty white was six years old before frozen food betty white's older than frozen food she didn't know what a man which was betty white didn't know what a hungry guy is betty white didn't know lean cuisine there's lean cuisine uh a year later guess what dude the tampon was invented for the first seven years of betty's life chicks were just out here bleeding bleeding out all over the place the fucking grocery store outside inside bedroom just bleeding everywhere they didn't have tampons now they're invented the things that that woman has seen fascinates me She's an American treasure. We love her. Rest in peace, Betty White. It's fantastic. Uh, and it's it's great. Um, she was awesome. She'll never be forgotten. And uh, and it's it's pretty much it's, it's a wrap there. Golden Girls will go on to be one of the greatest shows of all time just because of her and her legacy. Here we go. We're going to wrap it up. And this is what I'm going to do. Uh, someone tweeted, if someone gave you a million dollars at the beginning of this year, 2022, what would you do with it? It took me 3.2 seconds to respond. And here we go. I'd use every penny as collateral. Every single penny is collateral for a loan. I don't know the math. I'm not a mathematician. Jared would have been great to have here today to help me out with this math. Um, but I'm almost positive you can get a loan from the bank at 10%. So I can get a $10 million loan with a million dollars. I think that's right. Maybe, maybe with the house and other things going on, but that sounds right. So let's say it is. So now I've turned my 1 million into 10 million pretty much overnight. And that's the easy part. I'd use the first half to buy a building downtown to officially create the Do Better Network. I'd then use the money left over from the building expenditure to hire my friends to come in and make websites, uh, brands, videos, podcasts, content, music, anything creative that we can upload to the internet that makes us money and we're doing what we love to do at the Do Better Network. Meanwhile, I have the other $5 million out in Hershey, PA, spending my sweet Sweet time there, building and opening Central Pennsylvania's first all-inclusive wedding venue. Show me the money. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been another episode of the What Are We Doing podcast. Uh, Thank you so much for listening. This has been uh, a great year, great 21, great (coughs) great 2021, great start to this podcast. Great start to this relationship. I can't wait. We've got plans. Carlos is coming in soon. I'm announcing the giveaway winners from fucking last year soon. Okay. They're coming. If you're still with us on the YouTube channel, you can still win. So hold out for that. The AirPods are coming. I promise. Um, And this is going to be it, dude. It's going to be a great year. We're going to keep it rolling. We're going to keep it rocking. What are we doing? Pod.com backslash links is the only website you need to know, but all of our links are in the description down below. Click on one or all of them, please. 
Thank you so much for listening. Uh, my name is Levi McCurdy. It's been another episode. Peace out, everybody. See you next week. Bye.